welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam, past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 4. Answer the all of this question on a sheet of plain paper. A. Construct a trapezium ABCD in which AB equals 10 cm, BC equals 8 cm, AD 7 cm, angle ABC equals 60 degrees, and angle BAD equals 90 degrees. Measure and write the length of CD. C. Within the trapezium ABCD, draw the locus of points which are Loma numero 1, 2 cm from CD, Loma numero 2, 9 cm from B, Loma numero 3, equidistant from AB and AD. Question D. A point E within the trapezium ABCD is such that it is greater than or equal to 2 cm from CD, less than or equal to 9 cm from B, and nearer to AD than AB. Indicate by shading the region in which E must lie. So this is construction. So if you do revision, you just go through the last five questions from the most recent exams, you would have seen all the types of questions that you can come. But 90% of questions remain the same. It's just the type of shape that they ask you. So once you revise this question, understand the explanation, then you should be comfortable to answer any question in an exam. Remember, revision makes it permanent. And we have start companion app that you need to download. Just check it in the description where you'll be able to find even other subjects that I may not be able to make videos because of limited time. So, let us start with question A. So, if you look at question A, before you even start doing the actual construction, you can do a rough sketch so that you know what you're talking about. So, we know AB. AB is 10 cm the longest, then we've got BC 8 cm, then we've got AD 7 cm, then we've got angle ABC, which is 60 degrees, then we've got angle BAD, which is 90 degrees. So I know AB is the longest, so I can do this because I know this angle, this angle which is AD, then this should be B. So this angle should be 90 degrees from there, so I can do a bit of sketch. I know this is 10, then this is D. Do I know AD? AD is 70 centimeter. Then this is 90 degrees. I'm told ABC is 60 degrees, so this should be 60 degrees. Then BC, this is somewhere C here, this is 8 centimeter. Okay, 8 is longer, so meaning this should be slightly smaller. Then I join this point. So the shape will be something like this. This is how the shape will look. Then I can go and start constructing. So for me to construct, like usual, you need few things. You need a lula, you need a protractor, then you need also a compass so let us answer this question step by step so this is how the question will look when answered so what are the steps so the first step is like i said we have the 10 centimeter which is the longest this one then ensure that this angle is 90 degrees this angle be a dim then you are going to have angle bac that you need to measure to measure this angle you need this instrument so you come and measure this angle so the first step, like I said, you do AD. This AD you, you measure using a ruler. So using a ruler, you measure that AD is 7 cm because you've been given what AD is. So you do the first step here. Then you use this instrument. You measure this angle. Make sure this angle is 90 degrees and this length is 10 cm. So this one is easier. No need of any compass. Then afterward... You need to get the compass up this point. Then make this arc. This arc should be 8 cm. So you come and measure 8 cm from here up to here. 8 cm. Then you make this first arc. And then you bring this instrument, put it here, measure, ensure that this is 60 degrees. Then you join this line up to the point of the arc. Up the point of the arc. Once you do that, then the next thing what do you do you need now to come here do extend okay 
do extend this point this line need to meet this line somewhere it needs to meet that line somewhere but remember we are looking for CD so CD we need to measure it but you get this point this point you know this point where D is and you know where the point is where the arc is then you join this line you join that line once you join that line up to the point exactly where this line is meeting the arc you join this two then you would have completed the, the shape and you come and measure the distance you discover that this distance should be 60 centimeter if you do properly then next you move to question C so question C is within the trapezium A, B, C, D draw the locus of points which are 2 centimeter from C, D again you need these key instruments so you need the protractor, ruler and the, the compass we are told that within the trapezium draw the locus of points which are 2 cm from C, D so you are going to extend the compass this compass in such a way that it should be 2 cm so for example if you notice here I'm going to need it to be 2 cm so this is 2 cm exactly so once you do the 2 cm come and make this arc put it the compass here then make this arc then come here or any point to make another arc then you are going to get a ruler then join these points when you join these points in such a way that this should be tangent then you draw this line like something like that then that line will be exactly 2 cm from CD so this distance this distance will be 2 cm once you do that you are good to go then you would have answered this part of the question then you move to the next question which is within the trapezium a b c d draw the locus of points which are 9 cm from from b so again you need the compass and the ruler these are the two things that you need so once we get the compass you come and extend it in such a way that this is 9 cm so once it's 9 cm then you come at b here then make this arc which will be 9 cm from b so this arc all the points here they are 9 cm from b all these points so once you finish that you discover that it will look cleaner as the way it is then you would have gotten this one mark we look at question loma numero 3 of sim equidistant from a b and d a d so what is common is a so we are standing at a so when at a we have a d in this direction then we have a b in this direction so what we need is we need a point in such a way that as we are moving al along that line these distances are the same that's what we need so how do we achieve this so you just get the compass so the compass we are seeing just extend it enough in such a way that when you are at A you are able to make this arc and this arc on AD and on AB then come again without changing the distance put it here then make this arc without changing the distance again come and at this point where you made the arc make this arc then the point of intersection here is where you get the ruler and join this point it should pass there so once you do that you discover that all these points are equidistant from both AD and AB that's what it means then we look at D a point E within the trapezium ABCD is such that it is greater than or equal to 2 cm from CD less or equal to 9 cm from B and nearer to AD than AB indicate by shading the region in which E must lie so let us shade this one so the first thing that we are getting from here is the point is such that is greater or equal to 2 cm from CD so the 2 cm is this line so it means we are interested in this region that's where we are looking for so looking to the left of this line which is showing C, C1 to the left this side that's why we are interested then less or equal to 9 cm from B less or equal to 9 cm from B so we are looking to inside of this arc that's what we are looking for so it's inside of this arc all the points inside then nearer to AD than AB so the points that are nearer to AD than AB are these points to the left of this line this line which is 
C3. So now, what are the points? So we are saying uh, this is a boundary. So if you are looking for all the points, now these points will lie in this region. That's where the points will lie because it is less than two centimeter, meaning it's this region. Okay. Then less than nine centimeter, so we can't go beyond two centimeter. Here we can't go in this direction. And you can't go beyond this. Then nearer to AD than AB, which is this region. So this is the region we are interested in. Now, since we've noticed what the region is, I can clean it up so that you see clearly. So it's just a matter of shading. So I can shade this region, this region. So we are getting this region. So this is the region we are interested in. So this is the region where it must lie, this point in. Once we shade like that, you are good to go. And the answer will look cleaner as in this which is in e so once you do this you're good to go and you get all the marks on your construction thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question e five